Hi everybody, this is Kevin, your EWC advisor, and welcome to the introduction thread of our EWC workshop. As you're working on your introductions for your research papers or PowerPoint presentations, you're going to find that introductions for this assignment are going to be structurally very similar to the kinds of assignments you've likely done in the past for other classes. You're gonna want a strong attention-grabbing opening. You'll want to establish key ideas and information for your topic. You'll want to move from general information to specific information, and you'll want to transition into a strong, specific, critical thesis statement. However, here are some specific tips that will help you as you work on an intro for a science paper. Research for your topic may provide startling, surprising, or intriguing statistics which can make for strong opening sentences to hook your readers. For example, if you're writing a paper on an endangered animal, find a statistic that illustrates how much its population has dwindled in recent years. If you're writing a paper on an environmental problem, such as pollution, find a statistic that illustrates the specific impact of that specific kind of pollution in a concrete, quantifiable fashion. More so than in other areas of study, science provides some really great attention-grabbing, intriguing facts or ideas, so be sure to take advantage of that, and always remember to provide a citation to show where that research or statistic came from. Another good tip is to use the intro to establish and define any key terms that will be necessary for the reader to critically understand your topic. For example, a paper on global warming would need to give the reader a brief overview and reminder of the mechanics and process of global warming. What happens? How does it happen? How and why is this a problem? Use that opening paragraph to very quickly establish and remind the reader of any scientific information behind your topic that will be necessary for the more critical, in-depth exploration that's going to come in the body paragraphs. Remember to avoid announcing and matter-of-fact claims with your thesis. Engage the key ideas of the topic in a clear fashion. Remember that the thesis at the end of your introduction should be clear, direct, and written in a third-person academic style. So try to avoid language like, in this paper I will explore, or my paper explores, or this paper is going to present, and instead, Try to find a more direct, precise way of engaging that reader. Example, instead of stating, this paper will explain the major contributions of Jacques Cousteau on the world of marine biology, you'd want to use your introduction and thesis to more directly clarify and present those key contributions and, and say what they mean. For example, consider this alternative. Jacques Cousteau revolutionized marine biology by pioneering undersea exploration and conservation, educating the public through mass media, and the invention of the aqualung. Notice how the revised sentence tells the reader more and intrigues the reader to read forward in the paper to learn more about those key contributions that you're going to revolve your ideas around. Always be more direct, precise, and specific as you're intriguing the reader establishing the foundation of your topic and laying the foundation for those subtopics that are going to come next in your body paragraphs.